Hey everybody, welcome back to Trail Expedition. My name is Scott and in this video, let's talk about cell phone signal boosters. Are they even worth it? So my name is Scott and for those of you that are new to this channel, we go on epic off-road adventures all throughout the United States. We are based here in Michigan. Uh, we do a lot of trips up in Michigan's Upper Peninsula and I'm off grid quite often. And one of the things that I really um, like to have is a cell phone signal booster. Um, I've been running one from WeBoost on my Gladiator here for the last couple of years. And like I said, if I'm up in the UP camping, you know, off-roading next to no service, this is gonna take me from like having one bar to having a couple of bars. So recently, a company called HiBoost reached out to me and they actually just sent me this new product. It's their Travel 3.0 Explorer X cell phone booster. And they said, hey, would you like to try it? I'm like, well, I already have a WeBoost, but I have two Jeeps. So the WeBoost has been permanently mounted on my Gladiator for a couple of years now, and it's worked awesome for me. Um, however, let's try the HiBoost on the Wrangler. So that's what I did. I got the HiBoost product from them. I installed it on my Wrangler, um, and what I want to do is a comparison video uh, between the WeBoost and the HiBoost uh, when it comes to cell phone signal reception. So what I'm doing is I drove a couple miles away from my house. I'm out in the woods here. I have currently one to two bars of LTE on my phone. We're going to do a speed test comparing these, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a baseline, you know, have everything unplugged, kind of see what our speed test is with that. And then we'll plug in the WeBoost, run a speed test with that. And then I'm gonna take the truck home, I'm gonna grab the Wrangler, bring it to this exact same spot, and then we're gonna repeat that test. And basically what I wanna see is, which of these products is better? Um, if I had to guess, I haven't done this test yet. If I had to guess, they're probably gonna be very identical. Um, one of the biggest things that you had to watch for is how high these sit above the vehicle. The higher they sit above the vehicle, the better reception you're gonna get. Um, however, when you're off-roading, especially in Michigan, there are a, lo a lot of low-hanging trees, and I don't want this thing sitting above my vehicle because I'm gonna hit a tree with it, guaranteed. So when I mounted the one on the Wrangler, I mounted it very similar. They're both kind of in the front of the vehicle here. All right, so with that all out of the way, let's get in the truck, let's fire this thing up and see what our speed test shows. All right guys, so now we're in the vehicle. I have my uh, cell phone here right in front of us. And I did do a test at home. Um, while at home, I had 5G service, I think four out of five bars. Um, and the download speed back home was 166 megabytes and 35 was the upload speed. So, and then that says your internet connection is very fast. So now we're out in the middle of the woods, uh, no 5G here. Uh, as you can see, we just have LTE up there and it's bouncing between one and two bars, uh, back down to one bar there now. So let's hit test again, and this is with nothing hooked up. This is just the cell phone. So test again, let's see what it does. Oh, it's really slow. <laughs> so we'll give it just a minute here. So it'll test the download speed first, and then it'll give you a number for that, which it just did, which is six, which is horrible seeing as we were like 160 something at home. And then it'll test the upload speed. And our upload speed is 0 0.04. So those numbers are absolutely horrible. Uh, there's no way you're gonna upload anything out here in the middle of the woods and you'd be lucky to be able to even download anything with those numbers. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the WeBoost back in and we're gonna repeat this test. All right, so I have the WeBoost plugged back in and I did have to turn the vehicle on just because it's hooked to the battery of the vehicle. So I just turned the Jeep into the run position. I didn't fully turn the engine over. So I'm gonna flip you guys back around and we're gonna rerun this test, see if it's any better. All right, let's hit retry. And it's showing two bars of LTE up here, whereas earlier we were one, every once in a while it would pop up to two. So the uh, the bars, number of bars really hasn't jumped much. But you can see our download speed is a little bit better, not by much, it went from six to 14 and a half. And then it looks like our upload speed also improved uh, to 1.47, whereas earlier I think it was like less than half. So test again. And it 
looks like we're at 14 and a half for download. And if you guys look up here, we went from LTE to 5G uh, from one to two bars. And then our upload speed is 1.16. Um, so it almost tripled on that. And this doubled to, yeah, doubled to double and a half. Um, you know, it's, it's not a significant increase. Um, but going from like six download speed, which is considered pretty poor to 14 and a half That could be the difference of getting a text message out. It could be the difference of like getting a phone call out in case of an emergency um, To me that would be worth it just for the simple fact that I'm out here doing this all the time So and I do know the higher that you have the cell phone signal bo booster uh, up above your vehicle The better the reception is going to be so now that we've tested the Wii boost and the gladiator I'm gonna fire the truck up, we're gonna head back home, we're gonna pick up the Wrangler, I'm gonna come back to this exact same spot and we're gonna run this exact same test and see what the difference is. All right, so I'm out here at the exact same spot that I was with the uh, Jeep Gladiator a little bit ago. Basically, we're just gonna repeat the same test. So as you can see here, I do have the high boost mounted to the Wrangler. It looks very similar to the Wii Boost. Uh, there's, this one does have a spring on it, so which I do like. So if I do hit it against a tree, as you can see, it does bend, which the Wii Boost one did not have that. Um, but it was a few years ago. It was an older model. Maybe they have it with one of the newer models, but I do like the spring. So anyway, let's get inside the Jeep. Let's get this thing tested out. Need some WD-40 on that door. Oh, all right. All right, guys, so we're back in the Wrangler now. I'm going to flip you guys back around here, and we're going to do the test with nothing connected. This is just from the phone itself. So let's flip you guys around. Test again. And we are currently at one bar of LTE. And I'm actually getting a little bit worse signal now than I did with the Gladiator. I think the Gladiator we got to 6.5. Oh, pretty close. 5.85. So very comparable. And then the upload speed, it's also not going to be very good. I think it was 0.5 for the Gladiator. It's 0.4 in here. So actually a little bit worse numbers than what the Gladiator had. Um, so like I said, this are, these are the numbers with nothing connected. One bar of LTE, download speed 5.85. Um, it says your internet connection is slow. All right, so 5.85 uh, on the Wrangler, which is pretty comparable to what their Gladiator was. I think the Gladiator was around six something, um, and that's with nothing connected. So now I did turn the high boost on. I do have the key in the ignition and on, the on position. I'm gonna flip you guys back around and we're gonna test how the high boost does. So let me flip you around here. All right, so test again. And the high boost is doing pretty good. See what our final number is. 17.5. Oh, sorry. Didn't have the camera straight. And then our upload speed is 2.69. So there is a marginal increase on your download speed with the high boost as opposed to the Wii Boost. Um, like I said, it's not much of a difference. So really it's gonna come down to cost and like which one you wanna get. A couple other things that are worth mentioning too. Uh, the closer you have your phone to the output device, and I'm gonna flip you guys back around here. So this is the output device here. And it's in a similar spot on my Gladiator as well. It just sits right up here in the middle part of the dash. The closer your phone is to that, the better reception that you're gonna get. Uh, the other thing too is the, um, the antenna outside. The higher it is above your vehicle, the better reception you're going to get. Um, me being an off-roader and I'm always going down very tight trails, I didn't want it super high just because I'm bound to hit that thing guaranteed. So that's why I have it below the roof line. So I have the box here from the high boost set and it does come with a couple other things that the uh, Wii Boost one did not. And there is an upgraded Wii Boost um, as well. So I have the older model from a couple years ago. They do have an upgraded model. I'm not really sure what's in the upgraded model, uh, but the the high boost one 
came with this bracket here, which is so you can actually hook this to the outside so that way if you want to uh, move it from side to side, you can. Um, I don't have it hooked up. Uh, maybe I'll hook it up in the future. I just have it permanently mounted straight up and down. But that's pretty cool that they include this with the kit. Like I said, it does include the spring as well, which I do have that on. Um, it does have an extension as well. I don't have the extension on just because it would put it a little bit higher than I would like. Would I get a little bit better reception with this on? Definitely. Um, but like I said, I also don't want to smack it on trees either. So that's why I don't have this connected. Um, there's a couple other odds and end pieces that are in here as well, like pieces that I didn't use. Um, but it does have a whole bunch of different other pieces that you can use for like different mounting options on a lot of different kind of vehicles. I basically used very minimal of what was in the kit uh, to get that mounted um, because I really didn't need all that much. Um, but yeah, it's working pretty good. So there is a little bit of a price difference between the high boost here and then the Wii boost that's on my other vehicle. Um, so the newest Wii boost that's out that is very comparable to this one is $540. And this product here is right around $440. And that is on their website and on Amazon. I'll try to have links to both in the description below. So if you guys want to check those out. At the end of the day, is this product worth it? For me personally, it is. For the simple fact that I am always out in remote places, next to no cell phone reception. I'm always off-roading, camping, out in the middle of nowhere, upper peninsula, middle of the woods. There's been plenty of times where I've gotten stuck off-road and if I didn't have that Wii Boost on my Gladiator and now the High Boost on my Wrangler, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Um, so to me, definitely worth having. Is it as good as like say a Garmin InReach or one of those satellite phones? No, it's not, but it's not the same thing. This is coming in at a much cheaper price point, plus there is no monthly subscription for this. So at the end of the day, I think it's a good investment, especially if you're always off-road in remote places like I am. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.